to the U to the E, man. Connecticut. I don't know. We're back with the Booker Cam. Kind of wondering if thrifting in Connecticut should have its own theme song. We're going to have some mediocre, reasonably priced, but mediocre DS games. Nose is looking pretty clear on the Booger Cam, so we're good. $4.99 for a DS Lite White. Just a lot of stickers. $10 for the pink one. And 15 for the original. That was the one that came with Mario Kart. What else do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? We're, we're looking. We're looking. I'm gone. Oh, there we go. Whoa, look at all those controllers. And Cabbage Patch Kids, apparently. The hell am I pointing at? I want this man to serve me up some Nintendo GameCube controllers. Let's check out the condition. A lot of these had worn control sticks or just chunks missing out of them, especially on the WaveBirds. And of course, WaveBird has to be missing both the receiver and the battery compartment cover. Uh, these were priced at $5 each, which is a good deal, like I just showed there. Uh, but, like I just showed, uh, that is not the best condition. There was, I forget how many, maybe five or six GameCube controllers. Oh my god, look at my fat. And only one of them, only one of them was decent condition. And I'm actually holding on to that one right there. Uh, got some complete in box Game Boy games there. What else do we got? What am I trying to get this guy to do? What am I puppeteering here? Let me know how you're liking this point of view. This is honestly the best way for me to film at a thrift store. Oh, we got Pokemon Stadium. Five dollars. And I think that's about it for behind the counter. Let's go check out what else they have. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Stores are on fleek, I would say. Dollars. My thrift store is on fleek, as the kids say. So, as you saw, there's a lot I was looking at. I ended up leaving a lot of it behind because of condition. They had at least four other GameCube controllers, regular. I believe they're all black, too. Um, but I picked out the one, the only one that had a decent stick. Uh, a lot of them were chewed or damaged in some way. This one is just dusty, which is easy to clean up. Uh, they also had two wave birds, but they were missing the battery back uh, and the receiver, of course, for $5 each. And once again, also a little bit beat up. But I did pick up this DS Lite white with the stylus, which is surprising. And it was also it was also very surprising that they had this priced reasonably. $4.99. And this was one that actually turned on. So I knew it worked, I knew the screens looked okay. Uh, very happy to see that. No charger for it, but I'll, I pre I'm pretty sure I have extra ones. And last but not least, have a very clean copy, especially for this game because there is a spot to write your fucking name on it. Pokemon Stadium for the N64. Um, $5, not a bad price for this game. I already have it, given I don't collect for N64 anymore, so it's like, I wouldn't even keep this if I didn't already have it, so I'll be trying to trade that away. Let me know if your thrift stores are also fleeking on fleek. I'm really not caught up on the lingo of the kids these days, but let me know in the comments below what you found lately. Subscribe if you're new, 
And as always, keep it real, Internet. <laughs>